This next section will look at some of the improvements for routing. First of all, in piping, 180 degree pipe bends are now supported. As well, reference designators are a new component property that can be used to assign a reference to certain components, which can be searched, shown in the design tree, or shown in bills of materials. It is also possible to assign a different reference designator to separate instances of the same component. In exporting pipe and tube, it is now possible to specify the file name and location for PCF files, export separate routes into different PCF files, and select the assembly origin at the origin point for the PCF file. It is also possible to export routing components such as form bends and penetrated pipes. Now we'll take a look at a new feature for electrical routing which allows you to flatten the route in a manufacturing style. We'll hide this enclosure to be able to see the route. Now by right clicking on the route and hitting flatten route, we're open the flatten property manager. We can now choose between two types, manufacturer or annotation. For manufacturer we have to choose the center and then choose whether we want it to be a vertical or horizontal layout. As well, we can choose to create a drawing from the flattened route and which items we should include. SolidWorks will automatically flatten the route and create a drawing from it. Once the flattened route has been created, it is possible to edit it by opening the assembly file and editing the flattened route. There are three editing tools, straighten, adjust curvature, or adjust angle. Straighten can be used on already curved segments to select a point along the curve from which to straighten the line. You can also drag the icon to adjust the curvature. The next tool is the adjust curvature tool, which will allow you to increase or decrease the radius of a curve or the angle. You select a point along the line from which to start, an angle from which the line will come off at, as well as a radius for the curvature. This can also be applied to straight lines, adding a curve to them. The last option is to adjust the angle of a line. You select a line and then choose which angle you would like it to come off at from the original angle. and hit apply to add it. The results automatically update and give you visual feedback and if you don't like what happened you can always click undo. These tools make it extremely easy to create a manufactured style route just the way you like. Any changes made to the route will of course be updated in the drawing file. Now we'll look at a demo which shows off a couple of the new features for piping. First of all, the ability to import a piping and instrumentation diagram that was created in another program. The PNID data file must be in XML format before it can be opened by SolidWorks. This will include all the equipment that is required for routes as well as the routes. By clicking the Insert All Equipment button, 